where the news comes first. This is News 5 Today. Well, no matter what, cancer is one tough opponent. Yeah, but there is a new weapon in the battle. It's a different way to give medications that doctors hope can lead to more victories. Details on that on the way a little later on. In this morning's Keeping You Healthy report, we're talking about treating cancer. There is a new push here in the tri-state this week to reintroduce the idea of tailoring drugs to beat cancer. And joining us this morning to discuss the topic are Dr. Robert Nagorny and Dr. Elizabeth Pankey. Good morning to both of you. Morning, Thanks for being here. Um, Dr. Nagorny, let's begin with you. The, the concept of tailoring drugs, it's becoming something that's more mainstream or at least more common to hear about. Explain it. Well, I think uh, we have to realize that every patient's cancer is as unique as their fingerprint. Mm -hmm. And our job is to try to identify those therapies most likely to work for the individual patient. By using these tests, measuring the patient's own tissue, we can double or in some circumstances triple the response rate. Now that's not perfect, mm -hmm. but it's a demonstrable step up. It also enables us to bring new drugs rapidly into uh, use, so novel combinations and brand new agents can be facilitated in their mm -hmm. development and introduction. Basically using the patient's own cancer to figure out how to treat them in terms of, you know, in the lab and looking at the cancer. Exactly. It's like tailoring your clothing rather than taking it off the rack. Now, Dr. Pankey, tell us about your experience with Dr. Nagorny, and you are a cancer survivor. Congratulations yes, on that. Tell Thank us you. about um, how tailoring drugs affected your treatment. Well, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in Ju July of 1999, mm -hmm. and I had surgery and chemotherapy. Uh, the chemotherapy that was used for my treatment to begin with in July of 1999 was the gold standard treatment that was used for all cancer patients with my diagnosis, mm -hmm. except my cancer did not respond and I developed massive tumor in my abdomen mm. and it was not responding to any drug mm. whatsoever and I was going to die by Christmas of 1999. Mm. Then I found Dr. Nagoni's laboratory on the internet mm -hmm. and Dr. Nagoni studied my tumor in the laboratory and determined the combination of drugs that should be used to, to kill my tumor cells. Mm -hmm. And within weeks of treatment, my tumor completely disappeared and it's been five years now and I'm in complete remission. Well, congratulations Thank again you. and what, what a wonderful thing. And we are going to be hearing more about tailoring drugs um, definitely in the near future. Don't you agree? Oh, yes, definitely. Now let's talk about there, there are some uh, drawbacks to tailoring drugs. The first, it, it may end up confirming, Dr. Nagorny, that the, the standard treatment is the best after all. Is that maybe one of the drawbacks? Well, I don't know if that's a drawback. Um, all the tests do is reveal your profile of sensitivity. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be a good candidate for the usual therapies, then we strongly recommend you receive them. Mm -hmm. The beauty here is that when you're not a candidate for the standard therapies, we can also look through the other options so that you don't have to re receive one treatment after another after mm -hmm. another to find out. Now, and is, is it true because these things are experimental, is that the way maybe to, to, to call it? Is, it? is it covered by insurance? I know it can probably be very expensive. Medicare has no formal policy on coverage. Many insurers will pay some or part of it. Mm -hmm. The experimental nature is in the eye of the beholder. There are over 1,600 published experiences in over 40 papers all of which have been positive. We think that the data, the weight of the evidence, is strongly supportive. Mm -hmm. is, is breast cancer currently the, the, the cancer that this is most, most uh, um, experienced with tailoring drugs at this point, you think? I would say that in our experience, breast and more so ovarian cancer have been excellent candidates. In Liz's case, it was ovarian cancer, mm -hmm. and we found what proved to be, we hope, a curative outcome. Breast cancer is also responsive, but other diseases as well. Now, so many people want information on this. The good news is um, there are some seminars, and uh, we're going to put the information up on the screen. These are community lectures on this treatment. Um, here they are, uh, one meeting tonight at Mercy Anderson Health Plex at 6.30, then again tomorrow night at 4 o'clock at Blue Ash Wellness Community. What will people be hearing uh, at, at these uh, lectures, Dr. Nagorny? Well, I think it's important for patients to empower themselves with information. The most important tool in cancer management is information. The more educated the person, the better they make decisions. Cancer medicine is complicated, and people need clear, uh, understandable information. So mm -hmm. we're, we're going to have discussions about some of the experiences we've had, the concepts, the biological basis mm -hmm. of cancer. Nothing too sophisticated, but I think uh, to elevate the discourse so that patients make better decisions. Right. It, it is a frightening time for, for the patient and the family, and mm. it, the more information, the better. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Pankey. Thank again, you. congratulations Thank on you. your survivorship, Dr. Nagorny. Thanks so much. Thank you.